Hey parents, it's Mr. Jim here. This back to school season, give your kids the tools they need to have fun while they learn with Osmo. Osmo's reading adventure, Learn to Read Game is an interactive tool for kids five to seven that help them practice and develop reading fundamentals. Because it's never too early to fall in love with reading. Visit playosmo.com to check out the reading adventure new reader kit today. That's playosmo.com. Osmo, learning well played. Hey friends, it's Mr. Jim and welcome back to Kid Short Stories. I was just reading through this five-star review from Beckham, Olivia and Millie says uh, you're so grateful for a new story every day the whole family enjoys listening and we love the conversations that stem from the episodes even our 18 month old has an evil laugh she does whenever dr stinky breath is mentioned <laughs> that's hilarious well thank you so much for sending that review are you guys ready for today's adventure me too let's go It was a very rainy day in the jungle. As our friend Archie the Pygmy Hippo was walking along, squishing and squashing in the mud. Archie, as a Pygmy Hippo, was a very small hippopotamus. So small, in fact, that he was often afraid of many other things. He had to look around everywhere he went and keep his eyes open just to make sure that there wasn't anything scary up around the next corner. But today, something pretty amazing would happen to Archie, as he would need to choose to be brave to help out a new friend. Oh, I just love a good rainy day. It makes it so great to splish and splash in the mud. I just, I love it. With each step he took, it squished and all in between his toes. Wait a second, do hippos have toes? Oh, of course they have toes. <laughs> and so as he squished and squashed his way through the mud, his toes got very muddy. Rawr! Rawr! Archie turned around and looked. Where in the world did that terrifying noise come from? It must be someone trying to eat me. I gotta get out of here. Archie the Pygmy Hippo started running as fast as he could, which was not very fast because he had very short legs. His four little feet tried to go as fast as they could. And then all of a sudden he tripped and fell and slid right in the mud. <laughs> Help me. It was in all the pandemonium that he had actually started running towards the big noise, not away from it. He closed his eyes and pushed his face deeper into the mud. I think he was trying to hide from whatever terribly scary creature that was really close to him. Is somebody there? I need help. I, I got stuck in all of this mud and I could really use a hand. It's gotta be a trap. There's no way I'm picking my head up out of the mud. It's gotta eat me. It sounds like a crocodile, said Archie. Well, maybe I'll just take a little peek. Archie poked his eyes up out of the mud and blinked them to wipe the mud off. Blink, blink. As he scanned the horizon that was in front of him, he realized that he had slid all the way back towards a lake that was right there. And right in front of him was a ginormous crocodile. But that crocodile had sunk down very deep, deep, deep into the mud and looked like it couldn't move an inch. Archie the Pygmy Hippo raised his head up out of the mud to take a better look. So, uh, how'd you get stuck in the mud like that? Ah! Oh, you scared me! Oh, said the crocodile. Yeah, I, uh got stuck in the mud. My feet just sunk right into the mud and now my tail can't even move and I don't even know what to do. I thought someone could help me, but just a little hippo like you, there's no way you could help me get out of here, said the crocodile. Oh yeah? You want to see me try? Said Archie. Ha! There's no way. Archie was always up for a challenge. 
And so, because the crocodile thought that Archie couldn't do it, it kind of made Archie want to prove him wrong. Have you ever felt like that before? Has someone ever told you, oh, there's no way you can do that? And it deep inside, maybe you feel like, wait a second, I totally can and I'm going to prove it to you. Step aside. Well, that's exactly what Archie the Pygmy Hippo felt inside. He wanted to prove that crocodile wrong. You should have seen how fast Archie could move around in that deep, wet mud. He was an expert mud swimmer. Have you ever gone mud swimming before? (laughs) Me neither. (laughs) Just imagine if you were tossed into a deep pool of mud and you had to swim around. Oh, that would be so disgusting. But Archie the Pygmy Hippo loved it more than anything. Well, he swam and swam until he was underneath the crocodile's belly. Eh, That's an interesting place to be. At least he's not inside the crocodile's belly. Because that would be a very different situation. But thankfully, Archie was outside of the belly, just underneath it. And he thought maybe, just maybe, he was strong enough to push and push with all of his might to help the crocodile get unstuck from the mud. Hey, be careful down there. It's kind of ticklish on my <laughs> on my belly, said the crocodile. All right, on the count of three, I'm going to push with all my might. And you just got to try and stand right up out of the mud. Are you ready? Huh. Of course I'm ready, but you're not going to be able to push me out of the mud, said the crocodile. Archie breathed in deep to gather all of his strength and all of his muscle. And on the count of three, one, two, three, Archie pushed and pushed with all of his might on that ginormous crocodile's belly. Even though Archie was small and his legs were short, he was very, very strong. Wait a second, what is going on? I'm, I'm standing up out of the mud. How did you do that, little guy? Said the crocodile. All right, well, just keep moving. I can't hold you forever. Just step up out of the mud and get back into the water. Said Archie. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, okay. Squish, squash, squish, squash. The crocodile picked up each step and squashed it back into the mud and slid right back into the lake. Hooey, wow. You got a big belly there, Mr. Crocodile. Wow, you're pretty strong for a little fella. Uh, what's your name? My name's Archie. It's great to meet you. What's your name? My name is Lenny. But, uh, huh, I've never been friends with a pygmy hippo. But today is a new day, and you happen to help me get unstuck from the mud. Would you like to come on over to my house and I can make you a delicious dinner? Uh, do, do you mean... Have me for dinner or make me a dinner? Oh, no, no, I'm not, I don't eat hippopotamuses. I would love to have you over and make you something delicious to eat. Please, it's, it's my pleasure, said Lenny the crocodile. And that was the day that Archie the pygmy hippo, who used to be very afraid of a lot of things, learned to be brave. And it was all, it stems from when Lenny the Crocodile told him that he didn't think he could do it. But Archie proved him wrong. And so even though this is the end of the story, maybe you can prove somebody wrong. Maybe you'll be like Archie one day and help a crocodile up out of the mud. (laughs) Well, maybe not exactly that. But maybe, just maybe, you'll find something amazing that you'll be able to do. The End Hey Bairns, Mr. Jim here to tell you why our kids love learning with Osmo's Genius Starter Kit. Ever since Osmo sent us our Genius Starter Kit, thanks Osmo, it's become the kids' favorite games to play with at home. The best part is how well they're designed to actually encourage learning in a way that's really exciting. I've honestly never seen my kids pick up new skills as fast as they are after playing with Osmo. You see, Osmo uses real tangible pieces that look and feel just like toys that interact with an immersive digital experience. So don't just watch, but play along with your kids and have a blast playing games that explore math, puzzles, art, reading, and more. The Genius Starter Kit comes with a base and a reflector that fits most iPad models 
Available at playosmo.com. That's playosmo.com. Osmo. Learning well played. I need your help celebrating some birthdays. Drum roll, please. Happy birthday, Benjamin, who's turning seven years old. Benjamin loves going to school, all things Star Wars, and snuggling with family. Oh, I love all of those things, too. Benjamin, I'm so glad we got to celebrate you and your big seventh birthday on the show. I hope it's the best one ever. And next up, we have... Happy birthday, Delilah, who's turning four years old. Delilah loves nature and animals. She's a great little sister and loves the color purple. Wow, Delilah, I'm so glad that we got to celebrate you and your big day on the show. Happy fourth birthday, Delilah. Great job. You listened all the way to the end, and you know what time it is. It's time for Kid Shoutouts. I want to say hey to Ali from Georgia. Icely, Brooklyn, and Luna from Alberta, Canada. Evelyn from Massachusetts. Fielder from Colorado. Harper from Brisbane, Australia. Jude from Illinois. Aiden from Montreal. Alexandra from Romania. And Alex and Abby from St. Paul, Minnesota. I'm so glad that you're all on the Kid Short Stories family. And on the spy team, we could not stop. Dr. Stinky Breath and his crew. Without you, my friends, will you have a super duper day? And I'll see you next time. Bye.